Hello. Good evening. Let's have a discussion here. So we got some salt on the timeline here. <laughs> <laughs> Who plays neutral less, Nago or May? Get the fuck out. So yeah, this. Papaleo died to death against a uh, tired mage and got salty. And me and Fam were like word, and then Tired Mage was like word too. Why? Why are we talking down on Tired Mage? But we're gonna look at why Papaleo lost to Tired Mage. DM the match video, and I'll give you a full analysis. Oh, this is Grands. Uh oh. <laughs> Papaleo died from the Grands. Oh no. What happened? Where's my water? Well, we're gonna need some new tunes. What's analytical? All right. So. So we have Papaleo, again, Mad Salty at Nago, everybody chiming in. So we're going to analyze what happened with this match between Papaleo and Tired Mage. So here we go. Couple things. Papaleo's good. Papaleo's quite good. Not the best May of all time, right? But quite good. Has been me a number of times. Tired Mage, also quite good. Tired Mage is definitely a game smeller, though. Let's have a look. We're in the perspective of Papaleo here, and this already seems like a... <clears throat> I've noticed some things. Papaleo, his trait is he is a high roller. He's very high roll. And the thing about Nago is, Nago loves to play against people who high roll. Why? Because if both people high roll, Push comes to shove, Nago's gonna win. He's got more health, does more damage, and if we're all gonna be slugging, then, you know, the flaws that Nogaryuki has, resource management and air options, like, don't really come into effect if we're all gonna be brawling, right? So, what are we doing here? Papaleo goes with a high roll round start. Apparently, this is supposed to be beating 5k, this round start 2h from Nei. Now, you know, there is something for high rolling, right? If you have a read on your opponent and you feel like you can commit hard to beat their option that they've been doing the whole time, then yeah, okay, sure. But Papaleo runs out the high roll immediately. Why? We'll see what Papaleo does after that. If I were Papaleo, I would remember that. What happened there? And here, Papaleo... Looking for either a repressure or a command grab. Vertical Dolphin. This is another thing that Papaleo loves. Papaleo loves Vertical Dolphin. Papaleo loves Vertical Dolphin. Now in the chat, we have Arcbounded, who says, Why would Mei ever start with anything other than 2S? Nago has zero answers to it. Well, after the patch, if Nago and Mei both do 2S and 5K, they trade. So, I don't know if that's a no answer. And that's probably what Papaleo is metagaming against. Again, 5k. Right here, if I was Papaleo, I would be slugging for my life. Free. Free. Right here. Right here at this Beyblade, I will be slugging it. Can anybody in the chat tell me why? Blood meter. Can't DP after. Blood. With. Blood rage. High blood. Yep, okay, here we go. And what happens? Papaleo does not take his turn. This was Papaleo's chance. Right here. And the fact that Tired Mage does this dash... Tired Mage is going to Blood Rage if his command grab doesn't work. So already, it's the first 11 seconds into this analysis. And we've seen critical, critical misplay. Critical, critical, critical. If you want to put the, the round on the table and take the burst, force it out, and maybe take your chance after, sure. But this command grab is mega hyper obvious. Big misplay. Big misplay. Not to fight back at that. So now this round... Oh. Papaleo is also a, a gold burster. For sure. This was gold burst. It didn't work. In fact, Papaleo got off easy. Fight back. There we go. Okay, see this? Look at how high the blood meter is. Okay, here comes Papaleo. 
Beach ball. Oh, commits to the grab. Whoa, wake up grab? Oh no. Alright, we're getting command grab like a motherfucker. Papaleo's been command grab like three times. Ugh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Papaleo, I would not have preferred that as behind as you are to jump in a corner and take your chances falling down with a button. I would have IED'd out and made a Tired Mage fight for the position. This was like the lowest possible chance of working. Again, high rolling. Big time. Okay. That was command grab. Papaleo dies here. That was command grab. So we're gonna say it's, we're up to four command grabs that Papaleo eats. If this command grab doesn't work, Tired Mage risks Blood Raging here. But he has a meter for PRC, so... Grab into PRC is the best move in the game, for sure, by a long shot. So I'm not gonna... I would wish that Papaleo tried to fight back there. Because again, if Tired Mage goes for a big frame trap, then he will Blood Rage. Careful. Yeah, great. Oh, you're dead. Alright, go next. That is bullshit blazing! That is bullshit blazing! So, okay. Oh, this is the Papaleo. You see this? This is the high roll, right? Papaleo, he's gonna prey on people's instincts to do what seems like the most obvious thing, and he's gonna counterplay it. This is actually my methodology for playing this game. I'm going to think almost 100% of what the opponent wants to do and do exactly the opposite thing that beats it. So, what does Papaleo do here? Counter hit Dolphin. What are you all thinking? What would you all do if you got hit by counter hit S Dolphin? Down back? <laughs> Burst? Block? Mash? Now you see, <clears throat> I think more than most people, I would say 75% of people are probably mashing the stagger out and trying to get out. So, what does Papaleo do here? Close slash. Run up, delay, close slash, catch the back dash. This is, this is Papaleo's Oogie. Special move. Look at this blood meter, it's like not moving and he's going crazy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's gonna die. Why are you doing dolphin? Why are you doing dolphin? Why? Oh my god. Not to, oh, he was going to die. Dude, he, he was literally going to die. I assure you, he was dead. He doesn't see the blood meter? Maybe not when, it's, when we're in such a tense situation. He, he watches Nago, but he might not be watching the blood meter. All right, Papaleo, we need to talk. We need to talk. Papaleo, it's not Nago. Papaleo, it's you. It's definitely you. It's okay if you get salty, but there's something deeper, right? We are one game in, and look how much we've learned, right? This was such an obvious blood rage. Let's look at this. Spin. All right, this is like one bar. DP, two bars. Dash. Dash again. If you up back here, if you up back here, even if you get hit, he is going to blood rage and the round is going to be over because you're going to kill him. The round is over right here and you don't realize it. You're blocking. Why? You need to be watching the blood meter like the Nago players watch their blood meter. This was your round. This should be 1-1 one, one right here. He's dead. He's dead. You overhead kiss on the RC, he's dead. Yeah, that, that was blood rage. He did two specials, two dashes. The round was over. And Papaleo didn't realize. Okay, one chance. TD. Okay. Ooh! You dead? Oh, clutched it. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Good, good, good. Alright, 1-1. One, one. Uh, it did not need to look like that. If I were Tyrant Mage, I would say the set is already over. He's he's not deterred at all. Okay. See, you see how obsessed he is with Command Grab now? I don't think Tyrant Mage relies on Command Grab per se, but... If it works, just fuck it, run it. What has Papaleo done? Here we go again. YRC, excellent choice. Look at the blood meter. 
the round's over. This is what I'm talking about. Imagine if you defended like that the last two games. Think about how, like, free it would have been. You don't know, but the round's over. Yeah, he, he's not paying attention to the blood meter. That's it. That it, That is the key to why Papaleo lost his set. Also, you... I... Okay, if you're gonna be playing against Blood Rage Nago, I would highly prefer you don't run. You need to hold your ground and be prepared to capitalize in case he moves in a greedy way. Okay, you got away with it. Good shit. It's not like the worst, but a lot of the time he's gonna be on zero health. That's like your best chance. You don't want to let him get his pressure going. Because, of course, that's... Like, he can Blood Rage again, he could Command Grab you, he could do, like, eight specials, he could Chip Death you, right? He could BRC. So you want to hold your ground and make him consider. Honestly, you're, like, not even there in the matchup. You're not even there in the matchup to, like, think about, like, okay, they're going to Blood Rage. What's my plan? Because you don't know when they're going to Blood Rage, right? So start with step one. Watch the Blood Meter. This round was a mess. Uh, hey, careful! Don't don't fuck up. If you didn't make this mistake right here, I think you tried to do close slash two H. Then of course, like we're looking at a different game entirely, right? But this wake up dolphin, like I understand you're frustrated, but don't don't feed the win away. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure he got frustrated that he didn't get close slash. And then, like, kind of, like, lost, uh, like, structural integrity, right? And fell apart a little bit. Son. <laughs> you tried to run all the way the fuck up in close slash? Why? <laughs> Holy shit. You, you... You, you deserve that. Okay. Okay. Good. Yes. Great, 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 great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Grab? Oh! <laughs> Leo. Oh! Don't tell me you tried to grab here and it, and it missed. Punish? There's no way you tried to grab here. You tried to close slash? <laughs> Ty Tyre Mage is having the time of his life. You can faultless defense Nago's blood gauge bursting and then you can punish it. You don't FD it. You, if your back is to the wall and he does it in your face, you get a guarantee back throw. It doesn't seem like you're playing very good, but there's pretty huge critical things to learn from this. So I'm, whatever. Let's just focus on learning what there is to learn. Oh no. Close slash 2H, spin. What does Vertical Dolphin get you here exactly? Okay, he does the Hotashi, 6H, 6H. Goal bears. Jeez. That's an everything. You love to goal bears. Oh, he saw the Fukio. Oh, he was looking for a forward. Ah. Oh. Okay, is that it? Oh. Uh, well, this man seems to be a little... Oh, it completely missed. If this was S Dolphin, it would have worked. Ford Fukio does not make sense after spin. I do that uh after a uh, spin mid-screen. Because I uh, cause people like to backdash. You don't think Tire Mage is playing wild? I think he's taking exactly what he's been given. Oh no. What have you done? You're you're fucking dead. Yeah. I would have kept on holding up back if I were you. Because Tired Mage is like all inning you. But you can't tell. But he does have PRC, but even if he does have PRC, the fact that he's doing this maneuver at this level of blood, he's still guaranteed to blood rage if he doesn't hit a command grab after that. And if you just take that air, you're gonna be fine. 
Especially if you IED out of the corner. But since you're not watching the blood meter, told us you like the analysis. So Kid Viper says, Papaleo's defense is switching between up back and dolphin. Yes, and there is more you can do. A bunch more. There's other high risk options that if you mix in on top of the safe options, makes it like pretty like frustrating to commit on people as Nago. Try mashing or backdashing or doing wake up super once in a while. And if you want to react to something, then you should think about like committing to blocking cross up here or looking for leaf grab specifically or tick grab, right? Because you can't react to everything. Please watch for blood gauge. All right, so bullet point for Papaleo. Add more options against Fukio. Safe. Papaleo, you're making me pull my hair a little bit. You're letting these command grabs happen so much. And it's because you're not watching the blood gauge. These are very telegraphed. These are very telegraphed. Overshooting? Yeah, and Tired Mage is like not falling for it at all. Yeah, I think Tired Mage is playing fucking amazing. And he's as greedy as he needs to be. Okay, great. Yes, 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 yes. Look at how much easier this round is going to be after you did that. Look at how much easier this round is going to be. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Unbelievable. Let's see how much easier this round is. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <gasps> What's the option here? I vote for backwards grab. Ugh. Nande! Vertical dolphin? If you back grab him? Holy shit. Imagine how hard it would be to win as Nago. So telegraphed. Oh, fuck. Tired of mage. Oh! That didn't work. The 2H was a... Good I what are you are you fucking stupid hotashi you gotta be kidding me you gotta be stoned like crazy this... that he got shot i can tell you're fucking mad look at the blood gauge papaleo look at the blood gauge look at the blood gauge please he can't do any more specials you didn't have to do this you're so ahead yeah, he can't do any more specials here. We can like the pop the 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 frustration is palpable. And now, look at what he does. This this is like three hundred blood gone. Yeah, good luck. Oh, oh God, Tiltorino. There was a blood rage. I would. I didn't even think about that. I was watching you. Okay, spin, Fukio back, right here. You should realize he's gonna blood rage. You don't know he's blood raging though. Oh fuck. Since you don't uh know when he's gonna blood rage, blood rage acts as like a fucking burst, right? Which is fucked up. Oh. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, you're fucking smoked. <laughs> Don't this just kills you? Rip. Okay. Any thoughts? Any any closing notes for Mr. Papaleo there? Why don't we put three strong defensive options that make him do on block against Beyblade on record? So here's what we're gonna do. Counterattack. After block. Backdash. Like this.
So, already, if you do any of these three, you're insulated from command grab, specifically. And, say you eat this frame trap, right? This one, spin into DP. What you want to do is burst right here. Burst is extremely important against Nago, and gold bursting all the fucking time is like... I wouldn't exactly say it's like the best idea, right? If you burst or wire see Nago in specific positions, you might lock him out for the rest of the round, honestly. Because look at his blood meter after doing that. And after this, he can do one special. Not even a dash. And that's for like 10, 15 seconds. That's forever. And we're talking about if he's at zero. I think holding your burst for Noggles that like to, you know, go big and hard like that is pretty strong. If you add in more options defending against his pressure, I mean, you open up like a whole never game, right? Just seems like he needs to start at layer one. And if he plays Noggle, he'll see like how hard it actually is to do offense that way. So uh, that's my analysis for Papaleo. Uh, you need to be doing more. For sure, before you jump straight to the salt. Ventus, what is this? Uh oh. I'm good. This is what I'm prescribing you. You need to play this bastard for a week. Do it. <laughs> 